So selecting all your gear and picking what's right for you. Uh, this time we're just going to be going really quickly through the map. I'm going to play a little bit of the game and I'm going to tell you a little bit about what each facility is, why it's important, and try and make this as short as possible. So here I did scout again. I took the same setup as last time. Alright, so here we're spawning at the comm tower. And this is super important. Um, it's not the most valuable objective in the game, but it's very important to know where it is. So, this tower is uh, transmitting a constant signal to the evacuation vessel that is coming to pick you up. Whenever this tower is damaged, meaning it only has one hit point left, it will stop transmitting that signal. So what that means is that timer in the top right is going to stop ticking as soon as that comm tower gets damaged. It's definitely something you want to be aware of at all times because if the comm tower is ticking down and you're not ready to get off the the facility yet for whatever reason because everyone's separated you need to try and damage the tower itself so that it stops transmitting the signal. That's something very useful to know. It's very good to have the communication for that so you know where everyone is. Uh, here I'm coming right up to one of the next ways to get off the facility which is the battleship wreck. Now you can see on the battleship wreck that it needs a hyperdrive accelerator and fuel cells. Now those are two key parts to make the battle cruiser work that you need. Uh, they, they spawn randomly uh, across the map and depending on how many people you have in your game and what difficulty it is they will spawn at later times in the game. The other thing you'll need to repair the battle cruiser is the hydraulic frame which is just a giant SCV and you can use that to repair it. You can't repair it normally because it's heavy machinery and yep so what just happened, uh, that little kind of fan you heard right there, that was the sound of the air treatment facility breaking. So what happens when the air facility treatment breaks, as you can tell in the top right corner, um, my oxygen level has already started decreasing. Now oxygen isn't super important when you don't have a lot of people because the less people you have in the game, the less oxygen you're going to use. So. It's not something that I really need to worry about, but I'm going to go ahead and come check it out with you guys anyway, just to show you where it all is, and so you can get a general idea of how to handle it when things start breaking. So right now we just got a couple zombies left here. I'm going to try and clean them up really quick. And awesome, so we got through that pretty easily. I'm bleeding a little bit unfortunately, but that's okay. So here I'm just going to show you what this is. You click F to repair a uh, facility across the map. So you can see this little animation above me right now about the sound that I'm repairing the air treatment. And once it gets to a certain amount of life, it's going to start working again, just like that. <coughs> so now my oxygen level is going back up. I'm good. So I don't have to worry about that. And since it's only me, I won't really have to worry about it for the remainder of the game, fortunately because I can see that there is a nest here that is going to continually spawn enemy units. So definitely something you want to be aware of whenever you see nests. Call them out to your team because they will just make your life hell and something you do not want to have to deal with. <clears throat> Alright, so here I'm going to kind of take the long way um, to the main computer room and the containment field. Uh, the reason I'm taking this way is because this is the way that most classes will have to take, and by most classes I mean every class that's not a scout. Scouts can go up and down these things right here with a little grappling hook. It's really nice because you can cut across terrain really easily and get to objectives much faster than anyone else. So right here, this is a creeper. This is a rare unit that burrows out of the ground. And fortunately, since I have a since I have a uh, grenade launcher and the radar, I can take care of this guy pretty easily. He's bleeding out, so I'm going to let him get pretty close to me, and then just blow him up. So, no big deal. Um, that's why I like the radar. It's really easy to handle rare enemies like that. Um, Alright, and so now we're coming into the main computer room. The main computer room has a couple things in it. Uh, the first you're going to notice right off the bat here is the teleporter. Now the teleporter will transmit you right next to the battle cruiser where I was earlier, so that's really nice. You need it to be repaired pretty much halfway, um, 
in order to use it on both sides. So something to be aware of if like this side is fully repaired and you click on it and it doesn't work, then that means the other side is damaged, so you have to be aware that there might be enemies on the other side. So here is the most important objective in the game and the center of the map. This is the main computer. Now, the main computer is the most important objective in the game because it allows you to open and close doors just like this one. When the main computer is not working or damaged, it's going to lock every single door in the facility and you won't be allowed to open them. Now there are a few exceptions to this, which are like security gates, and those are ones that you can open at any time. So those really aren't a big deal. Um, uh, the containment field has been broken, so I can hear right now that that was the monster breaking out of it. And the reason that happened is because I neglected to get it fast enough. Just because I really want to show you guys the entire map this game and the monster itself. So, that little, uh, the little, I guess you can call it, icon on the bottom left in the minimap is the monster itself. Now, the scout is the only class that can see where the monster is at all times. So the scout is a really useful class to, you know, kind of keep your team up to date on where everything is, um, just everything in general. So I'm going to go, he's going to try and come over to me, I think, but I'm going to try and bait him over a little bit, just so I can show you what the monster looks like, and here he is. So this is the giant, unkillable monster, even though he has a thousand hit points, even when you get him down below to one hit point, he will never die. So you can see why this is definitely a huge pain in the ass and why you want to keep this thing locked up at all times. And here I was a little bit stupid and I just let him through the door to the main computer, so that was totally my fault. He's going to trash that and probably all the doors will lock now, so that will make things a little difficult, but hey, it is what it is. So I'm just going to jump up on this cliff here, give him a little bit of damage. He doesn't know where I am now, so I'm just going to kind of hang out. Hopefully he'll go away, and I can show you where the containment field was. Okay, so I'm just going to jump down here really quick. Uh, there's going to be all these hallways in the game that you'll notice that are just these large open hallways. These all have potentials to spawn very uh, deadly, deadly enemies in them. There's usually large spawns in all the all those hallways that you'll see, so that's definitely something you want to be aware of. Okay, so here is the broken containment field. Um, it's going to look like this after the monster breaks out, but while it's here, um, you can when, he, when you can tell that it breaks, you'll want to run here uh, and fix this with the F key, just like we did on air previously. So that's something to be aware of. Um, the containment field, as far as valuable objectives, I would put it at number two because unless you have an easy way to deal with the monster, it's just going to completely ruin your game and make it nearly impossible for you guys to get anything done because there's this giant and killable monster that'll kill me in like two or three hits, so <laughs> definitely not something you want to be aware of. So, he just what you just witnessed right there is he can attack doors and he, uh, he just broke one down. So, also something to be aware of, if you ever let the monster out he's gonna break all the doors open and it's gonna be no fun at all. So, next we're heading down to the power room which is a super valuable objective, not quite as much so as the main computer and the containment field, but still very valuable. And the reason that power is valuable is because if you do not keep the power on your vision is going to be reduced to one and when I say one I mean hardly any vision in front of your face you're going to be reduced to having a flashlight uh, you're pretty much going to be wandering around with a stick poking everything in the facility hoping that it doesn't kill you and that's really not a way you want to go through a zombie infested facility so power is definitely something that I like to keep on um, at all times. It prevents people from friendly fire. Um, it prevents people from, you know, making risky decisions that they would easily be able to avoid if they just had that extra vision. So that's definitely a valuable objective as well. Now, here the monster is kind of, you can see he's kind of chasing me around. He's pretty smart. Um, 
he goes after scouts <laughs> for whatever reason, so it's going to be kind of difficult to get around him and show you the rest of the facility because I can see he's already he's already figured out that I'm down here and he's coming straight for me. So just going to deploy the motion scanner because that way you can see that little red dot that I was talking about earlier. And yep, so I'm just going to kind of lead the monster to this cliff. Um, since I'm a scout, I can jump up and down them easily. He can't, which is great. So I'm just going to lead him over here, come around to the side, and try and race him back to the door. And I might not beat him, and I might have to come back around again, but let's try and make this as quick as possible. Yes, he already broke down the door. Okay, so I beat him over, just barely. You can see him down there. Um, so here is going to be one of the most important hallways to figure out in the game. It's very hard to get to. This is the hallway that leads to the evacuation site. So that timer on the top right that I was talking about earlier with the comm tower, that is going to be where that plane lands and picks you up. So this hallway is super important to know how to get to. And since it's so important, I'm just going to kind of walk back through here go to the main computer and show you that path that you should be taking to this room. Um, so here we go, we're pretty much back to the main computer. Thankfully, to my motion, thanks to my uh, motion scanners, I can see there's a couple zombies down here. And I can just try and clean them up really quick. And this is called a watcher. These things are really nasty. They're one of the hardest units to deal with in the game if you don't have a lot of, a lot of firepower, as you can tell, because they just continually pour streams of zombies out at you, which is no fun at all. So here comes the monster to try and deal with me again. I'm going to be able to get around him because I know how to deal with him, fortunately. If you shoot him when he charges at you, then it slows him down. So it's really nice to know, hey, I can just shoot him, take a couple steps, shoot him, come back, take a couple steps. So he really doesn't like that door for whatever reason. That door probably pissed him off or something. Battery doesn't like the color. Either way, it was good. It bought me a little bit of time. So, I'm going to close this door. <coughs> oh, never mind. He already broke it. So, I'm not going to close that door. And, yep, I'm just going to come down here again and show you this path to the evacuation room. So, you can tell uh, it's kind of kind of confusing if you don't know where it is to get to the evacuation room. But, um, it's uh, really easy once you figure it out. So, I'm just gonna, since the monster is constantly chasing me, I'm just gonna repair this little turret here so that uh, when he eventually does come here, he'll just attack this and it'll buy me a little bit of time to show you guys what the evacuation site is. So here's the evacuation site. It's this huge uh, landing zone that the dropship will park at. It'll park between these lights here. So make sure whenever it comes to you, you do not stand under these because if you do, and you click on it, it will squish you, and nobody likes being squished. So, um, this is an important site to clear later in the game. It's not really a facility, but it's still an objective that you have to think about. Because when you are um, trying to get everyone safely here and uh, deal with everything that's going on on the map, if you don't have the site clear, then if the ship comes to land, it's going to die, and then you're going to have no way off the facility other than the battle cruiser. And if that happens, then uh, you have to either take the battle cruiser, or if you're unsuccessful at getting the battle cruiser uh, up and running, then you have to nuke the facility and kill the virus itself. So, the monster is probably going to kill Evac here. Um, I'm going to try and hang around here just a little bit so I can show you guys um, what happens once that. Um, dropship actually gets here and tries to pick you up. So the main computer just went down as you can tell there and I got locked in here with the monster so that's not really fun but <laughs> we'll try and make it work. Uh, I got a little bit of supply hanging out here so hopefully I can show you guys what this evacuation zone is. So when that timer hits it's gonna start a either two to three to four minute timer depending on how many people you have in the game. So when that <clears throat> when that timer hits zero, that plane is going to come land, and uh, it's going to land right there where I was showing you guys earlier. And then the monsters or the zombies are quite smart, and they're going to figure this out and start laying siege to it 
very quickly. So something you have to be aware of. So the dropship's gonna die here because I have no way of killing the monster or containing that. So you can obviously see why this is one of the most second most important objectives in the game because I've just been sitting here wailing on this guy with nothing but bullets and you know he's barely lost half his life so he's a pretty annoying little bastard but um, if you keep him locked up it's all good you don't have to worry about him so if there's one thing you get from this video it is please 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 contain the monster keep it repaired unless your team says otherwise for whatever reason keep the monster locked up so here's a security gate um, I told you earlier that all the doors would lock when the main computer shuts off except the security gates, and this is an example of what the security gate is, what they look like, um, all that good stuff. Ooh, so I'm gonna die here. But, um, yeah, you can see that the dropship's coming under siege from all of these zombies, and that's eventually gonna die. I'm gonna have no way off the facility, and, yep, so. That's pretty much the gist of the map. Um, all the other objectives aren't quite as important. Those are just the main ones that I wanted to show you. Um, just a really quick, as quick as I can make it, at least video to show you just uh, basics of where you need to be going, all the important things you need to pay attention to. So uh, just as a really quick recap, Com Tower keeps uh, sending out the signal. Battle cruiser you can repair to take it off the facility. Air treatment keeps you alive and breathing. Uh, power keeps the lights on so you can see. Main computer uh, keeps all the doors open and accessible. Uh, teleporter will teleport you in between the battle cruiser and the main computer room. Containment field will kill that nasty or keep that nasty giant unkillable monster locked up. And the evacuation zone where you just saw that I died is where the monster will come and all the other zombies to try and kill you before you can make it off the facility. So definitely work with your team to try and keep this place clean of zombies and infestation. Um, it's also going to be really hard to hold it because there's going to be a giant horde that spawns and comes and gets you. So um, I'm going to be going over in my next video a little bit more in depth of all the other objectives, um, supply areas where you're going to find supply always and areas where you're going to find uh, valuable just items spawning more often than others. So pretty much uh, everything you need to know about collectibles uh, as far as items go within the game, not as far as class.